Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today, and we're gonna go ahead and follow Kathy around, and she's gonna pick What's Old. So here she is. Hey guys, um, we'll start with Poshmark today. I had two Poshmark sales. First is in CW. So you guys have seen me sell a bunch of these at this point. Um, and I still have a bunch left too, um, but these Roan swim trunks, this pair sold for an offer of 25 I accepted. Um, I have $10 into each pair, so selling them at 25 I get 20 so about doubling my money. Several of them at first were selling off in like the $30 range, so more of like 15 to 20 profit on those. But at this point, I'm just, accept if it's at least a $25 offer, I've been accepting, so. That's that. Uh, box DG. Next, these are just some sass. Um, kind of re regretted buying these as soon as I got them home, mostly because of the small size. Yeah. Uh, I think these were a five. Let me double check. Also, what did I sell them for? Yeah, so these were a women's five. I paid $5.99 for the shoes. I ended up sending an offer. I finally got a, well, it says I had four likers, but none of them like ever offered or accepted my offer. So last night I sent an offer to likers for 20 with discount shipping. So I make 13.88, so not very great sale there, but um, yeah, SAS still does well for me. I think that was just a size issue. So didn't lose money, made some coffee money there. <laughs> Um, so that was it for Poshmark. We had a um, number of eBay sales, which are BX. Um, so these are a pair of Levi's. They are new with tag. Um, I've had these forever, mostly because I forgot to post them <laughs> for the longest time. Um, they got photographed, bagged, put away, and I just never listed them. And then when we were doing inventory, we realized, so then we got them listed. So they finally sold for $24.95 plus shipping. Um, and I got those at Plato's Closet for $2.22 on one of their 90% off sales. So not too bad. All right, next up, AJ. So these are some Livy and Luca, just uh, the, these are called the Petals shoes. Uh, these sold for $31.45 free ship. And I got these for $10 at the Ray Lana consignment sale. So not huge, but they'll only cost about three to four dollars to ship these out. So not too bad. Yeah, Livy and Luca usually sells for at least around $30. So I usually price them around $35 unless they're like excellent condition. Then I do like more like $40, but... Yep, um, I usually pick them up for 10 because they almost always sell for 30 at least. So AU. Right over here. Um, so these are just some Croft and Barrow flats. Um, I got these from my stimulus check challenge at the bin, so I have just over a dollar into them. They sold for $19.95 free shipping. Um, let's see how much these weighed. I know they were under a pound. Yeah, so just to, over 12. So they'll be like five, between like five, 550 or so to ship those out. Um, so at least a $10 profit on those. All right. It's not normally a brand I pick up, but because it was at the bins and they were basically like new, I figured I'd grab them. All right, and then box of G. These actually sold to a viewer who has bought from us before and also comments on all the videos. Um, so it's from Yo, Yo Chaved. Oh. Um, she said, hey, it's Yo from YouTube. Had to show my support again. Love you guys. By the way, I'm a fellow redhead, so we got to help each other out. All the best. So <laughs> thank you, Yo. Um, so these are some native, like, little baby water shoes. They sold for $17.95 plus shipping. Um, that's an offer I sent out to her as a watcher, but I didn't know that it was her when I sent the offer. So thank you so much. Um, these, it's not really much profit because I got these off Mercari as part of a lot of shoes where I 
bought like five or six pairs when I only wanted one of them for my son. So I have about $11 into them. So after fees and everything, I might make a couple bucks off those, but thank you, yo. I hope those work out for your little person. Um, those are our favorite shoes to wear in the summertime. We appreciate you so much, yo. Thank you very much. All right, and then DF. These are just some little Disney Dalmatian vans. I actually bought these for my son off Kittizen a while back for 20. And I don't think he even ever got a chance to wear them, but um, I listed them for $39.95 free ship, and that's what they sold for. So I actually made some money, even though I didn't buy them really to flip. Um, they'll only cost around $4 to ship those out, so make some profit off of those. Uh, Disney vans are always a great pickup. Adult ones even more so. All right, and then a box CC over here. This is... Oh. Alright, so this is a Matilda Jane top. I got that at the Goodwill um, when I found a bunch of Matilda Jane at once. That one I paid $4.99 for and it sold for uh, $22 plus shipping. Uh, that's an offer I sent to a watcher. So, not too bad. Yeah. And then last but not least, we had one Mercari sale, 10 bucks BM. And this actually just listed today and it sold pretty much right away. Um, so this is Horrid, but it's Aristocats sweatshirt. So I actually bought that. So my friend, I don't know if she still watches, but Lucy, um, she told me about an app called Vinted, which is another reselling app. It's not one I had previously used, but she had been selling a bunch on it. So she told us about it. So I kind of got on there. I was going to list some stuff, but I think I listed a few things, but then nothing sold. So I deleted all my items that I listed, but I was shopping on the app and like people sell their stuff so cheap on the app, which is kind of mm. nice. So it's almost like a garage sale pricing, but then you just pay shipping. So I bought this sweatshirt and like two other Disney tour sweatshirts for like the whole total came out to like $8, but then the shipping was like $8. So my total was like $16 for everything for wow. three sweatshirts. Anyways, I bought them with the intent to wear, but they were all just a little too big or like I just didn't like how they fit. So I was okay buying them because they were so cheap. I knew I could sell them for more. Um, but yeah, that one I just listed today. I listed it at 25 plus ship. Someone offered me 20 within like minutes of being listed and I just accepted because I only have, like I said, about $5 and some change into it. So if the other two sell for that much, it'll almost be like I sourced specifically to <laughs> flip them, which I didn't, but I might go on the app and look for more stuff. But yeah, people sell, like she had these priced at like two to $3 per sweatshirt and then plus shipping, so. If you haven't checked out Vinted, I'm, this is not an affiliate or anything because I don't really use the app, but yeah, it's definitely somewhere you can find some stuff for cheap. So, All right, so Kathy did a little bit of that shipping while uh, I pulled up some questions. Kathy's going to go ahead and go through those questions with us. <laughs> all right, so first up is from Christina. Um, she's asking, how often do you all pull from the death pile to post? So, I mean, I wouldn't really say we have much of a death pile, like... Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys have been seeing those. Yeah. That's not really a death pile, I would say, because, like, that's all stuff that's photographed. Some of it's already posted. I just need to bag it and put it away. Some of it, I already have the photos. I just need to list it and then bag and put it away. So mm -hmm. that stuff, I've been working on that today. So I, I got a lot put away. And then other than that, the only things that we don't have listed other than, like, what's in the laundry, which I wouldn't consider that a death pile because it's being we're processed. gonna put it away yeah. at, or like get it listed as soon as it's done getting laundered so otherwise uh, this box is just some clothes that I need to photograph I'm probably gonna do that tonight I hope <laughs> uh, that's just a couple miscellaneous things I need photographed and then in our closet here um, can you even see <laughs> So like from here to here is like stuff that I need to photograph and list, but like all that stuff is listed and yeah, it's just like too big to fit in the boxes. Yeah. So, I mean, this is what, maybe a hundred items. So I guess our death pile is probably around a hundred, 200 items max, which I'm listing at least a hundred items a week. So 
I like to have some stuff to do when I can't, like yeah. I don't want to thrift or if I my kids are at school and stuff. So I, I wouldn't really say we have a death pile, but we're always pulling. Like I'm always working here. Sometimes stuff gets buried, but it eventually comes out. I haven't pulled much from that closet lately, but I do want to get that done ASAP. Um, there was a point during lockdowns when we did have a death pile yeah, and we pretty much got rid of it. You got, yeah, you grinded through that thing because um, we so. couldn't source. <laughs> we were pulling stuff out of our own closets. Um, Which is a lot of what that is. Yeah, too, so, so it's just moved up here. Um, like, yeah, the stuff from our own closets, that's kind of like my last priority. So I'd rather get the thrifted stuff that I know is going to sell for a bunch. And then if I have extra time or I'm bored, then I'll sell our own stuff. So yeah. All right, next up, Mary Ellen, do you shrink wrap your stuff? So, uh, not shrink wrap, we just use cellophane bags from Walmart, or not Walmart, Amazon. Um, I think we have a link. There are links in the description to the ones but we yeah, use. So, uh, they are just... I pulled them out here if you want to... Yeah. We're just, we have two different sizes. Uh, these, I don't know exactly what the sizes are, but the smaller one we use mostly for kids' clothes and shoes, and then adult stuff would go in the bigger ones. But um, I think like these ones come out to like two cents a piece when you break it down, and then we usually buy a thousand at once though. Mm -hmm. um, and then the bigger ones I think come out to like three cents a piece, but even when I use my own poly mailers that I buy, and the sticker, and one of these, like the whole shipping is like less than 25 cents. So. Yeah. It's not too bad, um, and it, like you can see, it makes it really easy to pull stuff when it sells, and you know we bag it after we photograph it and list it, so that way we're not just. I like the shipping process to be fast, so mm -hmm. I like to do the work up front, and then shipping is fast, so that's what we do. So we yeah we lint roll as we photograph, and then as soon as after photographing. We try to wrap it as much. You know, yeah. We try to wrap it as soon as possible after photographing it. Yeah. Um, sometimes that doesn't always work out. We have to lint roll twice, but um, we're trying to get more into that um, process of just doing it as the next step is the next step, and that's just what happens. Um, so we do have a lot of room to improve <laughs> in that case, but um, definitely want to get better at the full process being yeah. the same every day, but. We just do what we can when we have a few minutes. So <laughs> I did just make another sale. I'll show you guys oh. at the end. So, um, and then Heartland Clothing and more. How did you mount the light boxes on the ceiling? That would be Chris' question. <laughs> yeah. So we there are, is a link in our uh, Amazon store, but it's. Oh, let me try to get up here. It's just a little bracket, and I mounted. A little dusty up there. I never <laughs> noticed, <laughs> but. They're mounted into the studs and the joists in the ceiling. And then it's just the same kind of clip that is at the top of tripods. Same kind of clip that's at the top of the tripods that came with them, um, but it's just kind of upside down. Um, and they are adjustable. We can kind of rotate them if we need to. Um, but ever since I put these lights in, we haven't had to turn them around. Uh, before we had these lights, we would record haul videos at night, or Kathy would. Um, and we would turn these lights around to try to give more light because it was just so dark up here. But um, they're pretty much just set it and forget it now. And then there's a switch down along the wall that comes out of the outlet. It's a smart switch and it works with Alexa. Sometimes she ignores us, but there's a button on the side of that that just turns them on and off and it just does it all at once. So I think there was one more question. Yeah, uh, Sharon Ford asked, I love the way you have your storage boxes. How do you know where something is when it's sold? Um, so we've kind of showed our spreadsheet a few times, but just on our Google spreadsheet, that's where we keep all of our inventory. Uh, we have a column that says location, and mm -hmm. then that location means just what letter box it's in. So it'll either say a letter or top shelf or like the hats we keep in this basket. So it'll say basket or like hanging would be those jackets. In the closet so, over there, yeah. Yeah, it's really simple. Like you see like how we pulled it. Like in the beginning of the yeah. video, it's just in our Google spreadsheet. I'll just type in, you know, Roan swim trunks and it'll pop up and then it'll tell me it's in box CW or whatever. So super simple um, and random. We don't mm -hmm. 
we don't do like I have several round swim chunks and the rest of them are not in that box that I pulled those from they're all just spread out through right it. unless they're the exact same size like in that case same size those are a retail style. arbitrage so we have multiples yeah. of the same exact size and style colorway all that kind of stuff those we kind of box together I think actually for example yeah down here in this BL we were putting stuff in there today these three items are the same exact um, swimsuit same size and everything yeah, but if it was a different size we would only put a, the different size would be in a complete right. box so we don't have to check double check the sizing well i still do because i'm paranoid yeah, but we do <laughs> we have sent um because the one time we didn't yeah we, the, sent we actually something sent wrong. a viewer desiree um <laughs> the wrong shoes one time because we must have just put them in the wrong box but mm -hmm. yeah so that's why we try to keep those separate and then the last item that sold was... Oh, there's one more sale, yeah. Uh, CG just came in. It's just these gray Converse. So I sold a pair of size 8 the other day. These are size 9. Um, these were also my son's shoes. So I accepted an offer of $15 because I only paid about six fifty for them at once upon a job. And then the buyer paid shipping. So not too bad. And I actually did want to mention um, we had a um, oh, a return request on eBay, and this was for one of our stimulus check challenge uh, products. That uh, Nike big bag, what, big bad bud hat. <laughs> um, apparently, uh, when he got it, the Velcro on the back was like cut or something. Something was wrong yeah, with it. Looked it looked like like loose stitching, which I never yeah. um, Velcroed it to notice that. So we actually just gave him a full refund and told him to keep it or toss it, whatever he wants with it. Um, you know, we, we acquired that for what, like a dollar fifty. Um, so we lost probably Less than $5. five bucks shipping it to him. But you know, that happens. I, I don't know if it's funny because we just yesterday that we had that question of do we get returns and we really don't. So that was like random that yeah. after we like just talked about that, that we got that request. Um, and it was, that was technically an item like flawed. So I would have had to accept the return, but mm -hmm. for me to accept the return, I have to send him a shipping label, which that would have cost me another $4. And I didn't want to relist that hat because he did show me the picture of what was yeah. wrong with it and it wouldn't have been worth reselling. So I just said, so sorry, I didn't even notice. Um, here's your money back. It was only like $15 free ship. So yeah, but that so we we just lost the potential profit the mm -hmm. dollar that we paid for the hat and then the three something that we paid for shipping so it was like 488 total that we lost but we would have lost more if i paid to have it shipped back so mm -hmm. we've had this happen a few times i mean literally less than five i would say in this whole like 2020 till now mm -hmm. um which is basically all we've been doing ebay but yeah, so every single time it's happened, it's been such a low dollar item that I'm yeah. just like, just keep it. Um, I won't say that I'm, I would always do that. Like if it was a nice pair of shoes or something, I'd probably want them back and I would mm -hmm. pay for the shipping label. But if it's like under 10 bucks, I'm not even going to have them send it back because it's just not worth it. And I think that really depends on what item it is. Um, if the cost was higher, obviously we would want to get it back if it was in good shape to, to try to resell um, but, you know, that was a flawed, damaged hat, so we weren't going to be able to resell it. Um, but, you know, I think some people, um, you know, you always hear stories about, like, scammers on eBay. Uh, we haven't really encountered that, um, and that might just be because of what we sell. I, I think you're more likely to be scammed um, with, like, electronics or cell phones or things like that. And those are high-dollar <laughs> um we just don't deal with stuff that's that valuable. Um, so I think people are less likely to be like, hey, I want to return this. So if that was a case where, um, you know, we, we kind of sensed that the buyer was just trying to get a free hat or something, we probably would, uh, I don't know, make him, <laughs> make him send it back and we would just pay a little bit more um, just for the principal, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes we're a little hard-headed that way, but, um, you, you know, you can't let people steamroll you in that case, but... We didn't feel that was the case with this hat. So anyway, thank you so much for the great questions, guys. We are going to go ahead and wrap it up, finish packing these up, and get them off to the post office. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.